Alrighty, today we're going to talk about measures of central tendency. We have our data set, the numbers 1, 2, 4, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9 that we're going to work with. And we're going to go back to our good old friends mean, median, and mode and learn a couple of new things as well. So let's think about what it means when we say measures of central tendency. Central meaning middle, tendency meaning trend. We're looking for the middle trend. What's going on in the middle is the idea here. So the mean, this is your basic average that you're used to doing. This is the one where you take all the numbers, you add them all up and divide by the number of numbers. So the way we're going to show that is we're going to talk about the sum of all the data values x divided by the number of data values n. That's your regular old mean. So in this case, we would take 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9, and we would end up with 41 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. So we've got 41 divided by 8. And what we end up with, we get 5.125. And that's our mean. And we'll show that as x bar. That's a standard way of writing mean. So that's our first measure. The second one we're going to talk about is the median. Now the median, remember, that's the middle number when you put all the numbers in order. So our numbers are already in order, but unfortunately this time we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. So the middle number has to be between these two. So we take the average of those middle two numbers. So the median in this case is going to be 4 plus 6. Since it's two numbers, we would divide by 2. So we end up with 10 divided by 2, which our median in this case equals 5. Now that's a different measure of center. That's the middle number when they're in order, whereas the number over here, 5.125, that's the average of all the numbers together. The other thing I want to share with you about the median is a formula called position of the median. Let me write that down here. Position of the median. And it's a way to find where the middle number should be, especially when we have a large set of numbers to work with. So the position of the median is a really simple formula. It's just the number of digits plus 1 divided by 2. So in this case we had 8 digits. We would take 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 divided by 2 would be 4 and a half. And so notice that 4 and a half, 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half, it's between the fourth and the fifth number. So it tells you that. That was notice when we had an even number of numbers. We have to go for the average of the middle here. Now if we had an odd number of numbers, say we add on to the end of this list a 10, now we have nine numbers. The middle number is the fifth number right here. And our formula would tell us that because 10 plus 1, well actually, so, sorry, we have nine numbers. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's the fifth digit from the left. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's the fifth digit from the right, meaning it's the middle digit. Okay, so that's the position of the median. So that's a really good way to figure that out fairly quickly. The other thing is the mode. This is the other one you're probably familiar with. And if you recall the mode, the mode is the one that occurs most often. And I say it that way most often because the word mode starts out with an M and an O for most often. That's how I help myself remember that. So the number that's most often here, you'll see is the four. So in this case, the most often or the mode would equal four. That's another measure of the center. It's the one that's occurring most. And it's not necessarily in the middle, it's just the one that's occurring most frequently. Now back over here to the median, if you think about the word median or middle, kind of like the median of the road, that's the middle of the road, that's what the median is. It's the middle number when we put our numbers in order. Now the last one I want to go over is the mid-range here. And this is probably a new one to most of you. Most of you know the range. 
largest number minus smallest number. We'll talk about that later. That gives you the distance covered by the data. The mid-range, that's going to give us the middle number of the endpoints. So the mid-range is simply taking the lowest number, adding it to the highest number, and dividing by 2. So notice all that is is the average of the two endpoints. So the average of the two endpoints in this case, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 divided by 2. We would have a mid-range of 5. Again, another measure of center. Now what that is is that's the center of the two endpoints. This is the one that occurs most often. This is the one that's the middle number when they're put in order. And this is the average of all of the numbers. So there are your measures of central tendency. There is one more that they're gonna, you're going to read about in the book, and that's about, gosh, what is it? That's the mean of a frequency distribution. And so think about those words, frequency, how often distribution does it occur. So you kind of think of a mean of a frequency distribution is it's going to tell you certain numbers occur more than once. Like in this case, the four would occur twice. So you'll read about that. We'll talk about it next time, and I hope this does well. See you then. Bye.